Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new ColourPop collection and it's super exciting and super cute. Also, I feel like I haven't filmed a ColourPop video in like a minute. I feel like it's been a couple weeks since like a really big launch. So I'm excited. Today we're going to be talking all about the new ColourPop and Bambi collection. This was super unexpected. I was not expecting them to do a Bambi collection, but I'm so happy that they did. I personally really love Bambi and I feel like Bambi um, holds a very special place in my heart. It's actually one of my mom's favorite Disney movies. Um, it really reminds me a lot of my mom and she would always like talk about how much she liked Thumper and Flower and um I feel like this collection is coming out at like perfect time. My mom's six months is coming up um just a couple days after the launch and I just feel like it's a really special collection to me right now and it just reminds me so much of my mom. My mom always would watch Bambi with me when I was younger. I always remember her like loving Thumper. It was like her favorite Disney character so anyways we're gonna stop talking about that because uh I'm getting very emotional right now. So um anyways I'm very happy and excited about this collection so let's get into it. I'm so sorry I'm getting like choked up. I did not expect me to get choked up like that right now. Anyways, uh, this collection is launching on the 25th um, at 10 a.m. PST, so this Thursday, and it will also be at Ulta on March 14th, so in a couple weeks. This is a little bit of a smaller collection, but it's still really cute, so I don't think codes will work on this collection just because it's like a Disney collab and stuff, um, but I will leave my code down below just in case. It is just Katrina. It'll save you 10% off the ColourPop website on regular products if you guys want to use it on anything else, but yeah, I'm not sure if it'll work on uh the collabs they usually don't but who knows things change all the time <laughs> by the way i don't have pricing or anything yet but i will leave that down below once i do find out so the first thing that we have are three new five eyeshadow palettes we have bambi thumper and flower the packaging is super cute it just has each little character on it with um this like really pretty like pastel uh, yellow and green flowers in the back. It's really cute. I love the packaging so much. First one that we have is Bambi and this one definitely is very <laughs> Bambi tones. It's warm browns and a yellow shimmer. There are no pressed glitters in any of the palettes so I know a lot of you guys <laughs> will be very happy about that. Um, and I thought I would say the names in here because I think they're really cute. Bambi has Little April Shower, Eileen, Young Prince, Kinda Bashful, and White Tail super cute. Then we have Thumper and this one is a little bit more of like a cool toned uh, grayish purpley palette. <laughs> um, yeah, there is two shimmers in here, two mattes, and like one of those like sequined shimmery matte shades. Uh, the names in here are Miss Bunny, Friend Owl, I'm Thumpin', Long Ears, and Great Big Feet. This one is so cute. And the last palette is Flower, which is my personal favorite from Bambi. I love Flower so much. Um, and this one is so perfect too. It's all like purples and lavenders. Definitely right up my alley. Um, and the names in here are So Shy, Pretty Flower, Oh Gosh, Little Stinker, and Hibernating. Um, and this one is really pretty. There are two shimmers in here, two mattes, and another one of those like sequined shades. And that sequin shade in here is stunning. It's really, really pretty. So that is Flower. And those are the three palettes. And that we have in the collection is the Luxe Gloss Trio. So each gloss in here is uh named after each character so we have bambi thumper and flower little set has each character on it as well with a little slide up um packaging bambi is more of like a nude these are all kind of sheer but a little bit of a tint to each one um bambi is a little bit more of a nude gloss thumper is more of like a pink with gold shimmer in it and flower is like a clear sheer gloss with purple um, like a purple hue to it a little bit, like a purple iridescence almost. So that is the Luxe Gloss Trio. Next thing that we have is actually a new product. They're the Cream Gel Pencil Trio. These are not the cream gel liners. They are in a pencil form. So at first I thought these were lip liners, but I read the description and they are definitely eyeliners. So these are a sharpenable, sharpenable, sharpenable? I can never say this. Sharpenable. You can sharpen these. <laughs> um, instead of like the cream gel liners that are just like retractable um but they do look like the lip liners a little bit but i love the packaging again it's that like really pretty light pastel yellow and this is more like a chartreuse green cap and the colors are at the bottom we have meadow which is like a more ivory cream toned liner but it almost pulls a little bit more like pastel yellow um 
I have this on my waterline right now and it's really pretty. Then in here we have Purdy, which is so cute. I love the name. And this is like a deeper lavender. It's not like a purple. It's not like a dark purple. It's not like a pastel lavender. It's a really unique um, shade of lavender. It actually is almost kind of like the color that I have on my eyes. And then Raindrops is more of like a mauvey, shimmery pink liner. So yeah, these are a new product and they do come in the little trio set and on the packaging again just has the three characters on here and then next thing we have are a pair of falsies and these are faux mink lashes um and they are called oh dear and i have these on right now and they're just like a really nice wispy pc kind of lash and they're really pretty i like these a lot i've mentioned before that i'm not a huge fan of ColourPop's lashes but i definitely think they've improved them over time before they used to be super uncomfortable on the eyes um but these ones are really light and they're really comfy so i love that they've definitely improved <laughs> the lashes a little bit um and these are 100 cruelty free as always last thing in the collection is the pixie puff highlighter and this is in the shade morning light and it's really cute that same pastel yellow and green floral kind of um, design on it and it up and it has the little puff and the little puff is like a really pretty light pastel yellow and I would say the shade of this highlighter is more of like a warmer toned like a warmer champagne gold it's definitely very wearable I mentioned this at the end of the video um, after my tutorial and stuff but a lot of the pixie puff highlighters that have come out have been a little bit more on like the icier side whereas this one I feel like is very very wearable so and I think it's really cute um, definitely fits in with the collection really well so that is everything in this collection like I said I will put any info that I have down below for you guys and when I find out the pricing I will update you guys in the description box I'll probably leave a pinned comment as well but yeah this is a look that I came up with today using the collection so if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and to hear my final thoughts on the collection then just keep watching. Alright so let's jump into it. We're gonna start off with the palettes first and um, I think I'm gonna use Thumper and Flower. Maybe mostly Flower. I'm not too sure. I like both of these. Bambi's cute too. Like I'll definitely get used to that one but I want to do something that's like not like warm browns you know start off with thumper just because i feel like i really like even though it looks really light i like the colors in here and thumper just like reminds me of my mom so i want to use this one take friend owl which is this shade right here and i'm just going to put this on my outer my outer corner and just kind of like bring that into the crease a little bit i think i'm going to go back and forth with this one and flower very cool toned I didn't think it was going to be that cool tone, but it almost just looks like, like a shadow in my crease. Okay, so now that I have that shade, I'm going to go into Long Ears. It's this shade right here. These ones are all very cool toned. They're definitely pulling really gray on me. So I'm going to go into Flower, and I'm going to take Pretty Flower, which is the lavender, just like on top of that. <laughs> I probably should just use this shade on its own. I'm going to go ahead and take Little Stinker, the name, are you kidding me? It's the, this color right here. So cute. I'm going to put this um, along the lash line and then take that up into the outer corner. Okay, that definitely brought it together a little bit. I'm taking that along the lash line and then into the crease. I'm going to blend that out with Pretty Flower. It's like a smoky purple now, which I actually kind of like. Just building that color up in the outer corner. And then just going back to blend the edges out. Really pretty, like sparkly black in this one with like some purple glitter in it. It's so nice. But I don't want to do anything like super smoky right now, so... This little stinker shade it's really pretty it's like a really pretty fuchsia purple then for the lid I'm gonna take oh gosh from the flower palette and put this on my lid the shimmer is so pretty it has like a little bit of gold it's like purple with gold shimmer I really, really like that. I think I'm going to take it wet just to see 
how it looks. A little bit more metallic. So. Oh yeah, when it's wet, the gold comes out a lot more. So pretty. I really like this color a lot. Okay, I'm gonna just take a little bit more of little stinker. I also used little flower. I should just use this one. Um, I like this palette, but like it's really cool tone and it just wasn't like what I was going for today. Um, but it did make this look a little bit more smoky. So um, I'm going to do my foundation really quick and I'll be right back. I went ahead and did my base and everything. By the way, if you guys can hear the wind outside, it's insane. It's so loud. So I'm sorry. Um, but we have three cream gel liners and I thought these were lip liners. Liner pencils add the final touch to your spring look. So these are eyeliner pencils. I thought they were lip liners. Um, I guess the difference is that they're in pencil form compared to their liners that are like retractable. So these are the cream gel pencils. Um, <laughs> so there's like a, I really like this one, white. It almost is more yellow though. It's kind of like the color of the packaging itself. It's like this really pretty sparkly, like mauve color. And then um, there's this one, which is like a darker um, lavender color. It's not like exactly like a dark purple. It's like a dark lavender. So I kind of want to use the yellow one. Just put this one. I like it. It definitely pulls more yellow though than ivory. So I'm just taking a little stinker on my lower lash line. Oh yeah, against the liner like that, it adds a nice little contrast. So I'm going to use the, what is this called again? The Puff Puff or Pixie Puff, not Puff Puff, Pixie Puff Highlighter. This one is like a really pretty, like, um, I don't even know what color this is. Really glittery. They're, I like to put these on the body more so than like on my face. So I think I'm just going to do that. Just kind of puff this on. Oh, that's real shimmery. But it's pretty. It's like a really pretty, like, gold. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, I think this might be a little too glittery for like my face. I never put these on the face, but I was like, maybe I'll do it today. Let's see. Let's add a little bit and see how glittery it is. Yeah, she's glittery. We're not going to put that on the face, but on the body, you guys can see it looks really pretty and it's sunny outside today, so I'll leave that, but that's really cute. The highlighter on real quick. I'm going to use the one from the Valentine's Day collection. This is Pink Truffle. I love this highlighter so much. I've been wearing it so much lately. It's just so pretty. You guys see that? So cute. Yeah, so we have lashes, which I think is definitely very fitting for this collection. These are the Oh Dear lashes, and they're really cute. I haven't worn a full strip of lashes in a minute. I'm going to do that really quick. I'll probably do it off camera just because... It's just lashes. I'll show you guys what they look like once I put them on. Okay, so this is what the lashes look like on. And I actually really do like these. Like I said, I haven't been wearing a full strip of lashes in a while. Like, I don't think I've worn an actual full strip in, like, a couple months. Maybe since, like, November, honestly. They feel really light and not, like, super overpowering. They don't, like, overpower the eyeshadow. I really do like these lashes. For my inner corner, I'm gonna go ahead and take, um, So Shy, which is from The Flower palette and put that Ooh, it's like a white with purple like iridescent definitely think that this one's my favorite for the lips i'm gonna take the gloss trio i like um thumper thumper is like pink with like uh gold shimmer i think i'm gonna use that one. hold on i need to find a lip oh this works i love this lip liner it works with literally everything this is oh snap i don't know if ColourPop still has this one it it was like in my um box of lippy pencils but this lip liner literally just works all the time i love it it's like almost the same color as my lips i think i'm gonna take a little bit of this one too this is house labs doll it's a little bit more pink yeah i'm gonna take a uh, thumper You guys know um, I love the Luxe glosses. They're my favorite. And that is such a pretty color. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of flour too, I think. Let me see. Oh, I like that. So cute. Oh, I love this. So this is the finished look. It's still really pretty and it feels like very springy. I'll give you guys my thoughts on the collection. So the palettes, I do like them. I think my least favorite, unfortunately, is Thumper, which sucks because I was so excited just because I love Thumper and my mom and reminds me of my mom. Um, I probably, I don't know how often I would use it. If you like cool tones, you might really like that palette. For me, I just feel like everything kind of pulled a little gray on me. Um, and I also don't think that that one white might work for all skin tones either. Um, this one is definitely my fa favorite, the flower one, the one that I ended up using more of. Honestly, are we surprised though? I love these colors, like purples. So I really, really like this one. And I do like Bambi too. Um, I think it's definitely probably going to be the one that most people get. It's just more wearable, the like more warm tones and stuff. So I like both of those. Definitely, I think those two I like more than Thumper. Eyeliners, really like these. Um, I like the one that I used on my waterline. It's like a very, like it almost looks like one of those like cream colored liners where it's just like kind of like an ivory off white. But this one definitely looks a little bit more yellow. Um, and I think it definitely gives you that like doe eyed look, which is very fitting for <laughs> Bambi. Same with the lashes. The lashes kind of give you that like doe-eyed effect and I think it was perfect for this collection. really like the other two as well. I don't have any eyeliners that are this color of um, Purdy, which is such a cute name. It's like a very deep, like a deeper lavender color. It's not like a dark purple and it's not like exactly purple and it's not like a pastel lavender. It's a really nice shade of like a deeper lilac lavender shade and I like the like sparkly mauvey pink as well. This is so cute. I love the packaging. I think it's so adorable and it says morning light on it and it has the three characters and I really like how it looks like on my chest. This is definitely like a very fun item to have and I think out of the pixie puff highlighters that we've had in the past. I know there was one with um, the Candyland one and there's the two other ones I think, two or three maybe. I don't know how many have come out. But this one I think is definitely my favorite because I feel like a lot of the other ones have been a little bit more icy whereas this one has a little bit more gold to it and it just looks really nice on like my skin and like you can see like on my collarbone it really accentuates that a lot and it's not overpowering. It's not like super extreme or anything. It's really subtle but it just adds a little something and I think it's really pretty. And the last Thing, the gloss set. I love the Luxe glosses. I've said this before. They're one of my favorite products from ColourPop and I love the colors of this one. They're definitely a little bit more on the sheer side but on top of like a lip liner or something they're really pretty and I like the um, Thumper and Flower one a lot. The Thumper one is really pretty and it's definitely I feel like the one that I'll probably wear the most. It's like a pink with a gold shimmer which is my favorite type of gloss. Um, so I really like it and I think they make your lips look nice and juicy. Definitely feel like this will probably be more like a collector's thing because it's not anything super like the products in here are not like oh I've never seen that before you know like it's definitely more of a collector's thing but I do feel like Bambi is a very special movie to a lot of people like I feel like it's one of those movies like kind of like Winnie the Pooh <laughs> um where those things are very like sentimental to people like I know for me like Bambi is very sentimental so is Winnie the Pooh but um I feel like it's one of those things so I definitely feel like this will be a really nice collector's um kind of thing we like the packaging on everything as well I love that like pastel yellow color um that's one of my favorite like shades of yellow so I really like it overall I mean I like the collection I think it's definitely very cute and um I'm happy that they did Bambi I love Bambi but I don't know leave me a comment down below what do you guys think are you guys gonna pick anything up are you guys gonna pass on it what are your thoughts on this collection I think it's very fitting for the movie like I feel like the palettes kind of match each character like the Bambi one I mean what else could you do besides like browns you know and Thumper I think the gray bunny you know like I feel like it fits and then flower I really like it um I definitely have seen like this uh color story before from ColourPop but I think it fits well for flower it just it just works you know I don't think it's a super crazy collection but I think everything fits very well with the collection, you know, so we'll leave everything linked down below for you guys. I will put pricing and everything when I find that out. Um, so yeah, this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video.